This video shows some features of the VSAT simulator control system. Our system consists of four parts, the VR Design Studio environment, the simulator control station, a cone training course, and crash scenarios. Today we will show the simulator control station. This is the opening screen for the control station. It allows you to select the training environment as well as the scenario you want to use. We will select free drive, which will bring up the next control screen. This shows a picture of the whole environment and includes a pointer showing the position of the driven vehicle on the map. Shown here is the simulator station in operation. The student is driving the simulator while the instructor controls the environment from the control station. The student has a full screen view and cannot see the instructor's actions. You can see changes from day to night to rain to snow and so forth as the instructor clicks the buttons on the control screen. Shown here is a close-up of the environmental control buttons. The instructor can control time of day, rain, conditions, road conditions, and the viewing distance. If you look closely, you can see the mouse pointer moving on the control screen as the changes to the environment are made for those selections. The instructor can also change traffic density in each of three areas of the environment, the city, the six-lane highway, and the interstate highway. Shown here is the control screen for the control cone course. There are several different training exercises in the course. The control screen shows each cone color-coded to show if the cone has been touched or hit. The screen also tracks the student's performance. As the student drives, you can see the car touch or knock over the cones. You can then see the student's performance on the control screen. The screen totals the total number of cones that were knocked down, the number that were touched, and each cone that the student affected was shown in red. Following the cone drive, the cones can be reset from the control screen as shown here. Shown next is a bicycle crash. As the student drives down the road, he will approach a sloping driveway. As the car is about to pass the driveway, a bicycle will emerge from the driveway and a crash will ensue. What happens in the crash depends on the options that the instructor has set. That concludes our presentation for today. We thank you very much for your time and consideration.